Hello, my name is Richard Lockerbie and I'm going to talk to you about face detection and its uses in creating an interactive virtual reality desktop display. Now, unlike similar systems which are already out there, like the Wii Head Tracking by Johnny Lee, this system only needs a common PC peripheral, a webcam. Now normally when you're viewing a 3D scene through a PC, you're using controls such as a keyboard and a mouse, which can give you a very flat 2D experience. Now this system gives the illusion of 3D by using skin detection and tracking the user's movements. These movements are then input instead of the keyboard and mouse and can give the user a much more immersive experience. An example of the skin detection in action can be seen here, with the top half being the input from the webcam and the bottom half after being passed through the skin detection algorithm. Basically, skin detection consists of comparing the colour of each individual pixel in the image against a set of predefined skin colours. Here the system can be seen without the face tracking feature active. As you can see, the room looks flat and almost stuck inside the TV, almost as if you were looking at a 2D image. Here we can see the system with the face tracking active. As you can see, the movement of the room is being controlled by the position of the camera, which gives a much nicer 3D feel to the room. As we've just seen, the system gives a good illusion of 3D. However, there are various factors which can have an impact on the accuracy of the system one of these being the lighting of the environment. As lights have different shades, this can alter the appearance of skin colour and can have an impact on the detection by the system. Another factor which can have an impact on the system is the detection of background objects. Fine furniture, for example, has a very similar colour to skin and can often fool the system into thinking that it is skin. As the system is based around a camera with a static position and movement detection on top of the skin detection, could be a plausible fix for these two problems. This works on the principle that if the camera is still, then the only movement that should be detected is that of the user. There are many possible future applications for this system, ranging from a game with new innovative controls to an interactive shop window display. For more information, see the website. Thank you for watching.